خودم که میشه Hello everyone and welcome back to Fresh Trends. Actress and TV producer Sonia Mbele has been named one of the celebrities who visited Thabo Besta in prison. But she only visited him after he was recaptured in Tanzania in April together with his lover Dr. Nandi Pama Gudumana. However, unlike other visitors whose intentions were questionable, her visit was solely for business purposes. Zimoja reported that Sonia's production company is also in talks with an international production that wants her to be there. South African counterpart to co-produce the Besta and Magudimana's docu-series. It was reported that Sonia was spotted visiting the infamous inmate at the Hosimampuru prison in Tswane with the help of his lawyers. She is said to have managed to secure an appointment with Besta to seal the deal for the right to his story. Another source adds that she also has access to Magudimana whom she met through her beauty clinic. They went on to say Nandipa is comfortable with Sonia Mbele telling their story because she is familiar with her. Sonia is the first South African to bring the Real Housewives franchise to Hi, Africa. My name is Sonia Mbele. I'm a TV actress. I've been in the entertainment industry for about 25 years. But now I'm a TV producer. I'm the first person to bring the Real Housewives of Johannesburg or the Real Housewives of anyway to Africa. We started with Johannesburg, then there's Cape Town, you know, Durban, Nairobi, Lagos, Abuja, now we're waiting for Harare. Back in April 2023, when Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta's story came out, most people already had planned to say this needs to be on Netflix. And somebody even made a poster and said this should be called the Besta plan. It was going to be on Netflix. We're not sure if it's going to be on Netflix as yet. And others on Twitter, they went on to point the people that they think will really play the best roles for Dr. Nandipa's father, Dr. Nandipa. Nandipa herself and Tabo Besta and the other security guards and staff. And another person went on to say, as far as I'm concerned, Vuzi Tanda can play Dr. Nandipa Magudumana's father in the anticipated Netflix Tabo Besta prison break documentary. And another one says, Vuiso from The Queen can also be a great Nandipa. Where others also say that Lindy Wei from The River can also be a great Nandipa. But I think there's going to be auditions so I know that they will pick the best people. This one can play the role of that security guard who brought VW and get married. If there is a Tabo Besta movie, there is only one villain in the country. Or maybe there might be somebody else out there that is better than these people that we know that we already see on our screens. It might be different faces, but whichever way, I hope they're really going to do justice to this documentary because most people, they're really waiting to hear exactly what went down. But anyway, guys, moving right along to our next story. Jup Jup has been declaring his innocence following his arrest on three counts of rape, two of attempted murder and one of assault. He has also been working hard on his social media platforms just the day after he was granted 10,000 bail. He took to his Instagram page to post several Bible verses saying the truth shall prevail. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, he posted in response to the charges leveled against him by his ex-girlfriend Amanda DuPont. He was granted bail in the Johannesburg Magistrates Court on Tuesday after he handed himself over to the police station earlier that morning. The case has been postponed to August the 24th and according to reports, there were four complaints attached to the case dating back between 2006 and 2010. Jube Jube shared a series of screenshots on his Instagram stories of fellow celebrities who were acting in solidarity with him. One such person was Makadze. And Makadze went on to say, 1 Peter 4 14, if you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. Even though other people are saying her verse doesn't make sense to the situation that Jube Jube is in. But one thing that really made people to be so upset was this part when she said i love you my brother i know we are not friends but i am your supporter from a distance after sharing this screenshot on social media some users were very disappointed in makadze which i fully understand but i think jube jube was the one who did makadze daddy because you know that makadze is a celebrity and she's followed by so many people and there is a case of rape that we are fighting as south africans and then now when you are exposing another lady that you're saying is supporting you in this situation it's really really wrong because 
if Makazi is supporting you in secret, I felt like it should have been kept in secret. I can be a supporter of Jube Jube right now, but it's not something that I'll come out and say because I'm also a woman and this is something that we are fighting as a country. I understand that Jube Jube really wants to present his innocence to say, guys, I'm innocent. I didn't really do this whole thing. But him doing this to Makazi and showing people that Makazi is supporting him, I really feel like it was not a good idea. Makazi will be reminded of this tweet one day if she goes through the same situation that Amanda Dupont is going through. Sharing it to the public if you know that the person that you're dealing with is a celebrity was wrong because it opens up room for people to see Makazi in a different way. But judging from the comments, he is a man that can never do wrong in his followers' eyes. Others, they went on to say, one day you're going to write a book about your life. Keep well and know that he is still God. I stand with you, brother. If God is for you, who can be against you? You are more than a conqueror. Moving on to our next story. They say it's not February yet. Why are we suffering media? It's for me, babe. Even. <laughs> are these for me, babe? Oh, thank you. Shabam. Shabam. Danko. <laughs> As we all know that in South Africa, Valentine's Day has been marked as Lerato Khanyako's day. The TV personality on July the 22nd turned a year older and celebrated her birthday surrounded by love. She got spoiled as usual by her husband on her special day. She celebrated her birthday as she turned 41. We know that this is late update. It happened like a week or two weeks ago, but we thought that it was worth reporting about. After popping champagne in the club, Lerato got home to a beautiful surprise of roses and luxury gifts from her husband. Coming home to this. Oh. Like. I'm a box and gaga. What's in that box? It's three o'clock in the morning. And like. I'm very out time. Thank you, baby. Say, so, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> The presenter took to her Instagram account and shared with 3 million followers a glimpse of the celebration. And then she said, a weekend filled with lots of love. Loretta got a Rolex watch, which doesn't come cheap. Oh my God! I got her. I got her. I got her. Yes! My first ever! Yes! Oh my god! Lerato's husband, Tamit Lala, who is a businessman, is known for going all out for his wife. Her followers gushed over her new arm piece, which just might need her to walk around with an extra security every time she wears it. Somebody went on to say, people do really live this life. I've only seen this in movies. Enjoy. We have seen Lerato Hanyako. She's really living that life, the best life, the life that every girl wants right now. That's all that we have for today's video. Until the next time, please do not forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Peace.